She was built in 1944 for the United States Navy, saw action in the Pacific during World War II. And today, the Ticonderoga will carry its last passengers over the waters of Lake George. To live these moments forever, that Ticonderoga is no different. You spent so many years running this boat day and night, seven days a week, which I did all summer long. Captain Ted Callas has operated the Ticonderoga since 1964. Today, he has mixed emotions piloting this great ship for the last time. He says it's like putting an old friend to rest. It's just terribly sad to see her go. Lindau Webster's father brought the ship to Lake George in 1950. She's worked on it all her life. And the memories of those years still brings tears to her eyes. I had my first date, my first kiss, my wedding, and my divorce all on her. And to see her end be a scrapyard breaks my heart. I just hate to see it happen. We made our way north on this final voyage, escorted by those who wanted to see the Ticonderoga one last time. They blew their whistles and waved to the ship, a salute to a tired, rusty old lady, one that graced these waters for generations, one they will never see again. On Lake George aboard the Ticonderoga, this is photojournalist Bob Sheenice.